like how do you prepare like as a because you to me we've got this situation where we have low demand because a lot of people have said hey i'm not letting people come into my house and spread covid so i'm not selling my house or i don't want to move anywhere and then of course we've got people leaving condos and leaving cities going into smaller areas so i guess there's that sort that's causing a lot of demand so you have I'm sorry a lot of demand but not a lot of supply so do you think when this kind of when the foreclosures open up we're going to see a massive supply hit the hit the market well the thing of it is is there's there's two different times to help these people out and make a lot of money while doing it there's two really times um, in the process that you get you can buy a foreclosure number one is it has not gone to sale yet at the courthouse steps all right so they're behind on their payments either a summons or a, um, a notice of default has been delivered to the property by the deputy sheriff. Now there's this, there's this window of time and that window of time varies by state here in North Carolina. There's about a 10 to 12 week window between when they actually have the notice of default served to the house or the summons until the sale takes place. So in mining Carol Joy's foreclosure system, we are communicating with them during that process. They're behind on payments and, but the house is not going to sale. So in the way that we do the business, and in fact, uh, when we get here to the end of the show, I'm going to give out a URL to where people can go actually watch my webinar in detail. It's only about 45 minutes to 50 minutes long, but I, I teach the five steps of um, my, our foreclosure system. Um, of you know how you locate these people and et cetera. One big key is getting up with these people before other real estate investors even know about these potential deals. Um, that's one big category. So if they are behind on payments, I mean, not if they're behind on payments, if the property is not going to sell yet, then the creative strategy on funding that deal is to buy the property subject to the existing note which means that you'll have to bring the back payments current. But in my webinar training that I'm going to give the URL out for here in a few minutes, uh, it goes into detail as to what subject two is and how you can actually buy it subject to. But in essence, what it means is you're agreeing to bring the payments current. Also in the webinar training, Scott, I'm going to teach how you can buy these properties without having to pull any money out of your own pocket in order to make this happen. So the seller, the person or couple that's in foreclosure is uh, agreeing to sell the property to you, the real estate investor, subject to the existing mortgage staying in their name. And you are agreeing to make those payments, right? And to keep them current until you sell it and cash out. Now, the other point in time to buy that foreclosure is if, the, the opening bid was too high or, you know, you weren't able to, you didn't buy it there. Nobody else bought it. Well, now <clears throat> it's called going back to the bank or bank owned properties or REOs, which stands for real estate owned. Now, when you, that, so most of the time, those properties, those foreclosures will be sold in the multiple listing service. So you want to use private money, all cash to buy those houses. So in answer to your question, Scott, is there going to be a lot of inventory uh, on the market? Um, I don't believe it's going to be as large as what happened back in 2007, 2008, and 2009, but it is going to be a huge amount. So your, your average buyer, most buyers are typically not going to want to buy a bank owned property um, because uh, number one, typically it's going to typically need some type of repairs and right. your average buyer in the multiple listing service is typically not going to want to buy a house that's going to need repairs. So there, there's going to be a, a big opportunity coming right around the corner for real estate investors to um, either buy them bank owned or to buy them directly from the people. And again, my foreclosure system uh, teaches everything from, you know, from beginning to end of how to locate these people before the property goes to sale and also how to get up with these people before other real estate investors know about them. 
Right. And it's important that we get to them before they go through foreclosure, because if they go through foreclosure, they've pretty much screwed up their credit rating for the next 10 years. Exactly. And if we buy it from them uh, and we're making the payments for them until we, you know, cash or sell it out. Number one, that keeps a foreclosure off of their record. And secondly, as long as we are owning that house, we're actually now helping build their credit back up. Um, Right. As like a bonus to them because we're obviously going to be making their payments uh, on time. Um, Scott and the system is really our foreclosure system that we've been improving and using and it's proven since 2004 is there's really two main parts to it that make it work. Number one is how we locate these files, get up with these people and we maintain the list. So first is like get the list and maintain the list. And so that's the tracking. That's the tracking of, of uh, every open foreclosure file in our market. The other part to it is how do we communicate with these people? And that is, I've got a, a um, set of eight letters that get a crazy, very, very high response rate. And it's because of the tracking and the letters that we mail sequentially to these people that um, we're able to communicate with them again ahead of the other real estate investors. Yeah, that's really important because you can't just knock on the door and say, I heard you're going into foreclosure. I want to buy your house at a deep discount. <laughs> if, if you are, we call it door knocking. So uh, if you are going to knock, knock on doors, you for sure need to know what to say and how to say it for sure. Right. <laughs> that, that must be somebody calling about uh, wanting you to get them out of foreclosure. Yeah. I got to unplug my phone. <laughs> but uh, as I mentioned on the, um, as, as when we were beginning the conversation, this whole mindset and this whole way of doing business has got nothing to do with taking advantage of people. I mean, we really are bringing a solution to these people and a lot of them are in denial and just hoping and praying that, you know, this problem is going to go away. Well, you yes. actually, uh, by using my foreclosure system, actually have a very, very um, important way and meaningful way to help these people out of distress. And I tell you, our average profits uh, on these deals are over $60,000. Um, so, you know, for those that haven't been tuning into the show, um, Carol Joy and I and our team, we're in a very, very small market here in Eastern North Carolina, our total market is only 40,000 people. And, uh, but we do two to three deals a month, averaging over $60,000. Well, that's getting ready to change pretty quickly because of these, this avalanche of foreclosures that's getting ready to, um, you know, come about. 